In my empire, everyone is free to choose their own religion. Success always calls for greater generosity, though most people, lost in the darkness of their own egos, treat it as an occasion for greater greed. We love ourselves notwithstanding our faults, and we ought to love our friends in like manner. You cannot be buried in obscurity. You are exposed upon a grand theater to the view of the world. Whenever you can, act as a liberator. Freedom, dignity, wealth. These three together make up the greatest happiness of humankind. If you bequeath all three to your people, their love for you will never die. The will of the people is the best law. I am Cyrus, king of the world, great king, mighty king, king of Babylon, king of Sumer and Akkad. Do not be concerned with the speed of your accomplishment. Be concerned with the quality of your accomplishment. Be relentless in your pursuit of truth and let the reward of your actions be the good that comes to your people. Let there be no compulsion in religion. To be a great leader, one must first understand the nature of his people and their desires. O oh man, whoever you are and wherever you come from, for I know you will come. I am Cyrus who won the Persians their empire. Do not therefore begrudge me this bit of earth that covers my bones. Diversity in counsel, unity in command. If your actions are upright and benevolent, be assured they will augment your power and happiness. Do what you want, but be prepared in that case to be ruled rather than to rule others. Soft countries breed soft men, for it is not possible for the same land to bear both wonderful fruits and men who are good at war. All men have their frailties, and whoever looks for a friend without imperfections will never find what he seeks. Never be slow in replenishing your supplies. You'll always be on better terms with your allies if you can secure your own provisions. Give them all they need, and your troops will follow you to the end of the earth. Brevity is the soul of command. Too much talking suggests desperation on the part of the leader. Speak shortly, decisively, and to the point and couch your desires in such natural logic that no one can raise objections. Then move on. If I can only do well by my friends, I look glorious enough in whatever clothes I wear. In my experience, men who respond to good fortune with modesty and kindness are harder to find than those who face adversity with courage. Thus I established a stately court where all my friends showed respect to each other and cultivated courtesy until it bloomed into perfect harmony. 